you should be able to read exponential equations. They're gonna come up on every SAT. We have to know where the different pieces are and how they all work. But you don't need to be super confident in that to get a question like this right. Basically, they're telling us a story and they're telling us a point to plug into the story. This is a plug points into equations question because they're, they're telling us a value for t. So let's take a look. The function f models the intensity of an x-ray beam in number of particles in the x-ray beam t millimeters below the surface of a sample of iron. According to the model, what is the estimated number of particles in the x-ray beam, so the intensity of an x-ray beam, so that's kind of the f, uh, when it is at the surface of the sample of iron. So for lots of reasons in the SAT, we should recognize that like usually the surface is where like the height of something is zero, or in this case, the t is equal to zero. So we're just plugging in zero for t, right? So if we did that, we would have 500 times 0 0.5 times, or two, the zero over 12. Well, you have to know, have to know that anything raised to the zero power is just one. So 500 times one is 500 and that's the answer. And you might also recognize that this mostly follows the equation for um, uh, exponentials that we use. I personally use a version of the open formula for these where I have the uh, O is the original and that's gonna be a one plus or minus P depending on the situation. Now I normally just raise it to a regular T because usually we have a very simple exponent there. And we can adjust this formula if necessary for things like this where it says t over 12, but this will equal whatever the new value is. And in this case, they're, they're kind of, it's, it works a little bit differently. It's not like an original number of millimeters and then a, a new number of millimeters, but it's still exponential. So it still behaves very similarly. And the reason that this helps is that the O, remember that's the original value, well, that's what they asked, right? What is the uh, the number of particles when it's at the surface, when it's originally kind of starting, what's our value? So some of you could have gotten that without you know, any second thought. We're not quite in the part of the section where I'd start to worry about traps, but it also doesn't really take very long to just plug points into equations, put the zero in, and just double check that this actually makes sense with the story. So uh, well, no matter what way you did it, this is a very easy question, even though it has a story that sounds like it's all complicated and sciencey. Remember, it's not about the science. It's about the equation and about the points. So whenever you can, plug points into equations.